1861, uh, there was two gentlemen, Fraunheim and Vilsack, who started the Pittsburgh Brewing Company. The main beer at that time was Iron City Lager. Uh, it was really the first lager in uh, the Pittsburgh area and really one of the first uh, in Western Pennsylvania in general. My name is Todd Zwicker. I'm the president of Pittsburgh Brewing Company. I've grown up in Pittsburgh my whole life. Even when I was young, it was still part of the fabric of Western Pennsylvania. Most people recognize it immediately. They know you're from Pittsburgh or Western Pennsylvania. This project um, started right around March of 2020. Uh, and really this uh, facility that we're in now from 1883 for an old, for an old glass factory turned out pretty well for a brewery. With this new brewery, we're giving people a reason. We're, we're relevant and supportive of our hometown region. That is the goal, that was always my goal, to be supportive, but give people a reason to engage with the brand. So I was um, actually employed here when it was the glass plant, PPG Glass. This was PPG number one, 1883. The building, I, I feel, is one of the coolest pieces of the brewery wasn't your typical project. We would we would still be uh, building walls and pouring concrete as for running equipment. We got this brewery done in a very short amount of time and overcame a lot of challenges. It feels like I come to work to the same place where I was. I work on the same types of equipment. It's just the end product's different now. Perfect for me. And I love beer. Our main role for the project was to bring the aesthetics to it. Uh, we were charged very early on in making this a showpiece. So this facility was in complete disrepair. And all the walls were painted over the years, just hundreds of years of paint in different colors and things like that. And we started to explore with the owner and the contractors, sandblast, what do we have underneath? And we found beautiful brick, steel was in great shape. We worked with the team to repair brick where we needed to pick out paint colors for the steel and really restore this to a, a great traditional factory facility. One of the uh, fun challenges for this project is that there's actually three clients. We have the brewers who are making the beer. We have visitors that we want to see have the whole, how the whole place works and functions. We have the beer itself. So we have to think about how the brewers get everywhere, I have to think about how all the visitors get everywhere, and I have to think about how the beer gets everywhere. One thing that comes to mind is Pittsburgh Brewing Company's whole vision for the, the site as a whole um, and what it could be, and then trying to create different layers of lighting here that would function for them in the future as they kind of figure out how this space is gonna work for them. Honestly, I think the historical part of the building makes it easier to light in a way because it's already so beautiful and simple and you don't want to do anything that takes away from that. But what we did want to do is sort of bring the lighting in in a way that didn't draw the attention away, that just kind of fit into the architecture. It's fun working with Katie because one of the things we wanted to do was highlight the brew vessels. We had an opportunity to, to showcase those to the outside. We wanted to align those with the windows and really make sure everybody outside knew what was happening inside. And, you know, we worked with McKim and Creed, their lighting engineers, to figure out ways to make those vessels glow and pop at night. So it's just always a showpiece. Uh, this project is different for the fact of the enormity and all the different eclectic mix of systems. In this vision, all the systems are transparent. They're in front of you. You see it. Our goals were to make sure they're accessible, visually pleasing to the people that work as well as the people that one day will come through on force. The strategy of placement truly does change because when you see pipes on racks and you see pipes distributed, we truly as a team had to get together and we mapped out those points. Truly a unique project that is one of a kind in my mind and will never be duplicated. With the with the equipment that was installed now and the improvements made over the years, get better output out of them, you get more consistent product, 
you get a better quality product. It was, it's just amazing the, um, the engineering that went into the new system compared to what we had in the old now. When we started, we did want to do the brewery here, but we didn't want to stop from here. We now have plans on doing a craft distillery. We have a restaurant. We have a marina. We have an outdoor venture we're going to entertain with music, putting a pavilion out there, some kind of outside seating. We're, we're trying to make this as a destination place, rather just a manufacturing brewery operation. We've designed in generous capacity into the systems so they can increase the capacity. There's two transformers, they're rated 10,500 you know, kVA, and typical house uses maybe five kVA. Uh, out of those two transformers, you can probably power a small city. We're using 3,000 out of 10,500 out of one of them. So, so there's extra capacity here to use for whatever else they, they would like to put on this site. When I found out that Pittsburgh Brewing had sort of the vision of making this an attraction. The, my first thought was like, I can't wait to come visit. I'm really looking forward to bringing my family here to check out this facility. When you think of Pittsburgh, you think of the Pirates, you think of Steelers, you think of Heinz ketchup, and you think of Iron City beer. Uh, I remember being a paper boy back in the city and walking uh, down the streets where Every bar had the Iron City logo in the windows. I think Iron City runs in my blood. I, I remember uh, my family owned a bar and my grandfather, he was probably one of the biggest Iron City drinkers I've ever met. Iron City beer is our staple at home. It's always in our fridge. As engineers, we, we like to roll up our sleeves and, and attack technical problems. And at McKay McCree, we're honored to be part of it. Show them where you get these. You got it, Ray. You don't get these sitting around petting kitty cats. My name's Ray. You don't get, you don't these, get these petting, petting kitty, kitty cats. cats.